Hey, what's up? Um, part two, or the uh, vinyl edition of the Besanta Uchfolk Gleam Media Psychic Violence Troop. Um, let's start off with Besanta Uchfolk uh, Mania. I showed the split with Mesmoch. Uh, this is their first and only full length, I think. Let's get it out. Uh, we are listening to the second tape of the Uchfaust demos in the split with Fell Voices. I don't know if the Fell Voice material, material is on there, I don't think so. so. It would be weird to put it on a compilation. Mania with Revel. Uh, this is on Pesanta Uchfolk and Grayson Records that does most of the tapes, I think. They um, did the Uvia Enigma box set limited to 33, which was. I have never seen it offered for sale or maybe one time maybe with the pendant but um yeah weird 33 but you know, it's you yeah. this is mania um there is no info on here this is a very spur of the moment sort of video so listen to one edge bar tape decided to make a video so yeah here we are oh lubricate um very closely linked to that scene. Um, did know more about it when I was into it, but by now it's all a blur. Uh, this was mid 2010s, so I guess 15, 16, maybe a little bit, little bit earlier. There's no year on this one, but maybe we'll, we'll find a year. It's recorded 2012, but I got it later, so maybe 14, 15. It is a gay fault, very nice release. And this is maybe the most psychedelic band in that um, scene, or well, yeah, if you want to call it a scene, or that group of bands. Very nice pressing. Uh, there's even a distinguish, you can distinguish the slower tracks and the faster tracks by the smooth or sharp edges on this pressing. Uh, really nicely done. This is how records should be made. The limited one was a very weird color thing. Uh, the back I showed, but the artwork is by. There's no member names in here, so you know. They uh, call, they mention their cellist, their female vocals, and everything else by Nate Myers. So maybe one guy project I'm seeing now. Um, I guess Nate Myers is mania. All art by Eric Stoltich. So yeah, there you go. That's the first thing. Like I said, the most psychedelic. If Uranzi uh, Pazuzu is the um, mushrooms version of psychedelic metal. This is the mezcal or you know peyote kind of. It reminds me in some parts of the um, like Twilight Circle. So and there you go, Mania. Good band, really good band. Then Yellow Eyes and maybe the only record I have by Yellow Eyes and this is Stained Glass. No, <laughs> it is called Sick with Bloom, not Stained Glass. There are some stickers in there. This is a later record. I don't know too much about these guys. I mainly get it because it is the guy behind this and Fell Voices. Can I find his name? M. Rikevix. That's the guy's name. This is on Gilead Media, a later record for them, I guess. I have to say I fell off a bit because it was getting hard. It was harder to get uh, records from him or maybe my interest drifted somewhere but um, this I picked up. I think I picked this up at a live show. I saw them at, at Kafka I guess. This should be a standard black pressing then and it is on Galit this one. Adam if you're watching. I guess thanks for everything um, you know we met at Roadburn, I think, last year or the year before. I think last year. Last year. Yeah, good guy. Great label. We did a movie on this label, which I have the DVD, but I still haven't watched. Now is the time. So yeah, Yellow Eyes. Then we have, and I had to look at the download code to know how it's called, the um, Usta Lost with the Spore of Vipers. You can have the download codes. Their only release? I don't know. Uh, I picked this up at Consolum Records when we, um, the first city trip or the first travel thing we did was to Ghent with uh, me and my daughter. 
So I, one of the things was to go to consoling and pick something up. Um, this is 2016, Mimi was born in 2000, she's two now, so 2017 I guess. Titled 1 to 6, I don't know, I don't think I listened to it more than once uh, when I came home. Just, you know, support consoling, still, still supporting them, great label. Check, uh, check out what they do, check out what they have in the distro and buy from them. That's all I can say. We have the Oven Blood coming in and uh, the Shagabu or something. I don't know too much about her. But yeah. A later release, and this was um, the first or the last one I bought from Galit. There you go. We have some killer Galit stuff in our store. If you're from Europe watching this and you need some old, like, um, Gloam. Mismo is going with Gloam. Um, yeah, I'm blanking on titles, but we have some cool stuff in the store for kind of cheap. Predatory Light and Vorde. I'm not going to go too much into these guys. Psychic Pilots and Fallen Empire. So that's my link to Fallen Empire, I guess. Uh, two yeah, bands that are in the. that have members running through them all. Um, Paintings by Toast, Ryan White. There's nothing more member wise. I'm not going to hover too much over this one. Gold. The labels. Just to get into another band. And that is the Ford. Which is one of the, um, yeah, the guy I just mentioned, the bands. Um, this is on, once again, Fallen Empire and. Um, <laughs> I already forgot what it's called. Uh, yeah, the other label. I'll do a Fallen Empire one too because they have a lot of cool Fallen Empire stuff. So. Here we go. The first lyric sheet for these releases, which is weird because it's Pesanta and it's Gilead, but whatever. Uh, this was on purple and black. I imagine I have the black version. This is probably a. Um, a distro pickup from when Yellow Eyes plates in Antwerp, I guess, I'm not sure. Um, that's all I can tell you about. I think the guy is in there, that's all I can tell you about. There's the track list if that shows up. Very purple. I remember it being good, but it's a long time. A long time. That's the first bin batch. I did 18 on the last one, so we'll do the we will go to Ash to Ashboard and then pick a, or make a new video. This is Grayon, one of the Black Metal projects from the from maybe Tao or maybe Ashboard guys or maybe combines, I'm not sure. Like I said, you have to or like I'm saying now you have to um, look look for it for, your, for yourself I guess. Once again on Delete. Just you know, go on your own discovery, you have time now. Now I'll show you what Gilead does with their pressings. Very nice one, Grayon 33 RPM. The artwork is incredible, I think. It's so minimalistic, the cover. I love it. And then there's this gorgeous little art print or text sheet, if you will. This is tattoo worthy. But if mine is graying right now, so I guess in 10 years it will be gone. This will be just a a blurry dragon you have on your arm. But I still like the design or the artwork. Not sure who did it. I'll look since we're shouting out artists. No, one of these guys. If you want to look into it, if you want to get a tattoo. Uh, but yeah, gray on. Like I said, one of the first. American Black Metal Projects, I got to know. I got Leviathan after this, so that's saying a lot, I guess. Cheers to Mr. Whitehead. Bargast, two Tao um, related black metal bands, or one, but two releases by them. Uh, one is on, are they both on Gilly? Probably, yes. Very good black metal bands uh, that has a very mild output. It is from Tao, so there is that sludge influence in there, but it doesn't shine through in this. This is like 
This is not Tao, this is something else. This is the virtuous perch, which is going on right now. Anti-human, anti-life, so perfect soundtrack. Look at the cover. <coughs> it is, uh, yeah, it is something else. This is the clear vinyl, because this is one I ordered straight from Adam. First pick, first everything, just talking to him and just getting records that were blowing my mind at the time actually. There's nothing insert wise in here, it is just as bare bones as the music is. But it's played with a, yeah, it's, there's passion behind it, there's, yeah, and these guys can play, so yeah. This is a patch that should have been on a jacket a long time, but if I don't have doubles, I prefer that it goes into the, um, to the record. This is on the Gildeet and probably another label or maybe just a logo. This is a cover which should tell you everything you know you need to know about this record. The back is uh, Tao artwork but then um, the blackest you have ever seen I guess. I haven't I don't know what it's about but someone is throwing a wolf and down a well. Yeah, need to dig into that one. Once again, very bare bones. Um, this is the release that has two patches in it. As a matter of fact, I'll first show the um, record and then go into the patch. Uh, it's purely on Galit Media. The uh, triangle is just a logo for the band, I guess. Or something they were going to start up. But Vargas had to... had a dispute with Watain because they used this logo patch and they pulled it I guess at some point but uh, yeah Watain used this and I don't know they had some falling out or a dispute which got resolved I guess like gentlemen but it's great to um, surprise myself to find this in here because I had no idea but I know the artwork well and I don't know the story but yeah, this is going on next because this is actually one of my favorites, USBM black metal records. <coughs> Two more, or three more, three more, of course, of course. Uh, Mirror Universe, Elite Media, and this is False, and Vargas, the split. False is a band from a different city, it's not New Orleans. It's a very slow paced, but very well played Doom band. It's been a long time since I listened. I don't even have the last full length, I think. This is a split with Vargas, very uh, sturdy sleeve. Elite Media, Mirror Universe, Relic 42. Uh, yeah, I bought for the um, for the Vargas side and then discovered Falls, which is, yeah, certainly my lane. It's more of the Roadburn type shit, but um, it is very cool, nonetheless. Heavy as a church tower. Shifting Sands and Inhuman Hatred. Of course, a very cool black pressing, black center labels. Black everything. But what's in here is a big ass poster. There you go. I like this. Which is something Adam did on the regular, just put in some huge fucking poster, um, which is always amazing. Even when they're folded like this, it's, you know, it's just that little extra. I tried to put in promo posters into the records we sent out when I feel like it. You know. This will be on deck too, just to get into hell again. Uh, I'm going to show the two last ones as a package because um, it is two times hell and I don't know what more to say. Uh, sorry, it is false, not how false. The full length and their first full length and second full length, I think. I think they have one more full length, maybe, or they have a 7 inch for sure. Um, there you go. Both on Gilly, of course. Yeah, very doomy with black. It's still, still some references to black metal. Very cool artwork. There you go. Record-wise, I don't think there's anything too cool in here. There's a poster and a lyric sheet. There should be some patches in here somewhere, I imagine, but 
I don't see any right now. Records just black black. I know there's a false patch somewhere on the uh, on the jacket. I have a cringe jacket I'll show someday. The back. This is like I said their first full length which made me love them. Here's the patch. There is a booklet poster. And the patch. The Tau patches and, and the Galee patches and everything came like this, so I guess one of the guys in Tau was printing all of the patches for Galee, so I'm not sure. Once again, nothing to see here, just black on black. Black Dune. But that was false. Um, I'm going to cut here just to look at this. What a shame. I'm going to cut here just to get into or to have more time and be a bit secure about uh, Ash Border and Fell Voices. There you go.